All right, so I just wanted to do a really quick video because I'll be doing a definite follow-up video on this knife that I received today. Um, this comes all the way from South Africa. These are considered uh, the very best of skiving knives. And you're, if you're into Bible binding or any kind of leather work, this is uh, considered uh, the very best. Trying to get that, it says charter made there too. He uses a really hard steel, um, not too hard of course, you don't want it to chip or anything, but he uses a, a he, if, if I understand everything correctly, um, not only is everything handmade, of course he uses um, some machines, but you know what I mean by handmade. Um, uh, but anyways, let me, let me just cover it a little bit. Um, so this is designed, um, for a perfect skive. Um, you don't get, you're not gonna get better than this. Um, you, some of you might be able to make one, but this is like the hype when it comes to uh, leather craft. And the way he's done it, if you see, it looks like a Japanese skiving knife, but someone's a little bit different. Let me show you a Japanese skiving knife. Uh, just a cheap one, but these are actually cheap, but they're actually really good. Um, this is a Japanese and you can see these are only like 10 bucks on Amazon, but don't let the price fool you. They, they work really good and they're very sharp um, with a little bit of stropping and work and stuff. Some of them come sharp. I have one that came really sharp, uh, which is up there. <clears throat> and then this one didn't come so sharp and then I've kind of been working on it, not too much. But um, uh, this is what a Japanese skiving knife looks like. Um, the handle's a little bit too big for my taste. But uh, you can see it's completely straight at the end. So what this guy did, uh, let's see here, is he put a curve right there at the, the end. Now what that allows you to do, and you can buy it in right-handed or left-handed. Now they're, um, they're out of stock at Rocky Mountain Leather Supply. These do go for $199. So you're looking at $200 plus shipping and handling. Um, but the way this is designed, and I'm going to do a video actually showing it, because it comes with this strop, um, is you take the, the sharper edge, the sharper corner, and you would make, I don't want to touch the leather because it's very, very razor sharp, but you actually make your mark where you want the skive. And then when you go into the leather, and of course you'd want to hold it more like this, then you use this edge, edge to get into that mark you've made, <clears throat> and then you'd skive that leather. But uh, this, it's a, you gotta feel one. You, you know something is quality, not when you see it, but when you feel it. It's kind of like uh, now that I'm rebinding Bibles and stuff, and then I get a new Bible to review every once in a while, you know, and I still have Bibles I need to review. Um, you realize that the Bibles we buy that are, for the most part, you know, mass market or whatever, uh, they're nice, but they're not near as nice as a rebind. That there's when you have uh, like the way I rebind my Bibles <clears throat> when you're putting in you know triple spine reinforcement and you're doing it the right way you're putting you know uh, some duck cloth in between the leather you're using high quality materials it just when it's done it feels ten times better than dare I say even you know the new Premier series or feels you know three times better than even a Skylar. It, it just does because I mean, it's not mass produced, they're handmade and I can, and it's the same thing with tools. Um, man, this thing's gonna be awesome. But I'll do another video showing you how this works and uh, how to use it. And um, anyway, that's all I got to say. I'm just excited, it came in. So of course I'm gonna do a video, right? Uh, that's just from tape. He actually, when you get it, it's he's got a note in there. He's got his little, let me show you his little signature. But I wanted to say, he puts tape at the end, so I gotta wipe wipe that off so you don't cut yourself when you, when you pull it out. But there's a lot more to it, which I'll show in the video coming up. But also he um, signs it, original Skyver right there. So it's pretty neat. And it's pretty, it's pretty much a one man show. His wife does some of the, probably the packaging and stuff as far as the production of the knife. I think he even does the steel work. Um, I know he does the, 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 the rest of it. I think all of it is done by, his name is, I think, uh, Tarek. Tarek is his name. But uh, just amazing. I think this is called teak wood. You got like this, um, I wanna say it's brass or copper, probably copper maybe, ring. 
just a solid uh, piece. Anyways, guys, I don't want to waste too much of your time. So uh, I'll be making a video on how that's used and, and specifically how do you do it when you're binding Bibles and how to use it. So until next time, good day. God bless.